If you watched the previous video, you can see how a long string of notes could get confusing. It would be hard to keep your place. Fortunately, in most music, the melodies are broken up into smaller segments called measures or bars. These measures are marked by bar lines at regular intervals. You can see how much easier it is to keep track of where you are when bar lines are present. Try this example from the last video, but with bar lines added. Ta 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 In connection with measures, the biggest help to understanding rhythm is the time signature. The time signature consists of two numbers, one above the other, that define the meter of the song. The bottom number, usually a four, tells that you're counting in quarter notes. A quarter note gets one beat. Other possibilities for the bottom number are two for half notes or eight for eighth notes. It's important to take note of the bottom number of the time signature so that you know what the unit of the beat is. The top number of the time signature tells you how many of these beats are in each measure. Typically, the first beat of a measure is emphasized a little. So if the time signature was 3-4, you would have three quarter notes in each measure, and you would count it as 1-2-3, 1-2-3. If instead the time signature was 4-4, four, four, there would be four beats in each measure, and you would count it as 1-2-3-4, 1-2-3-4. In the next video, we will introduce some practical applications of these concepts.